Hi friends, in this small video we are going to be showing you a very interesting product that we have come across. Uh, this one is a CubeTech Mini HD Media Box. As you can see, it's not a box. This basically plays uh, HD 1080p, 720p uh, based videos and can stream to your old CRT based TV or a new old uh, LCD TV too. So let's just see what uh, this box has got. This is the way the box looks like. As you can see, uh, you can directly connect an external hard drive or uh, your MP3 player or maybe your phone or a camera and uh, it will directly stream the content on your TV. It basically supports all HD movies format. Uh, it's got HDMI composite AV and uh, supports external hard disk and uh, U-disk and STMS card reader. It's also got an e-book. The video format supported a almost all the video formats available today so let's just have a look at what it's got we'll be showing you how we connect this thing to a LCD TV and this is the product the casing is entirely metallic as you can see uh, real good build quality on the rear you have the HDMI connector and an AV connector and the power charging port on the front you have got uh, USB 2.0 uh, LED uh, which which will light up once you connect it to the charging port and IR basically to receive the remote control signals and SD MMC card slot very slim very uh, handy little product we have tested it uh, for a two and a half three hours movie and does not get heated up whatsoever with the KSP because the media, the hard drive is not there inside it so let's just look what else does it come along with as you can see this is the remote control it's got all these different functions as you can see this is the way the remote looks like it's got an AV cable so your old TVs basically get a lease of life and they can just connect um, this point to your HDMI box and this one to your CRT TV which has got no HDMI, no USB but will still uh, stream good amount of H20, 720p or 1080p movies this is the charger that comes along the charger here is a standard 5 volt 2, amp 2 ampere uh, adapter which is easily available in the market in case this adapter goes bad and there's a certain user guide for you to have a look at it now let's just connect it to a TV and uh, have a look at it alright so we have the apparatus all set here now and you can see we have connected it to the power point the adapter and the LED is blinking now we have an HDMI based LCD TV as you can see here and we have an external hard drive this is a 500 GB get uh, free agent GoFlex hard drive and this is a small pen drive which will connect and show it to you it does connect a memory card but I don't have a memory card this point of time so I cannot display it to you but it does connect you can have a 32 GB memory card uh, connected to your uh, uh, HD media box here using this slot and you could stream content absolutely seamlessly so let's just start connecting this thing first and as soon as we connect this is what comes up okay so this is the way it looks like and using the remote here uh, we can change the modes as you can see at this point of time we don't have any uh, media connected so let's just connect a external hard disk light starts blinking it's getting red now so if you want to watch a movie or something here let's uh, browse through the movie section press enter and it'll start reading it USB device or smart card now if you've inserted a MMC card you need to uh, basically go down but 
will not allow you because there is no smart card inserted so USB device you have to press enter and it will as you see uh, it's detected the GoFlex drive press enter and it will give you a list of all the content that is there it's a beautiful device actually uh, it will allow you to basically uh, connect any kind of TV to uh, an external hard drive which has got a lot of good movies and plate let's just scroll on some good movies the response time is very 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 good uh, there is absolutely no lag whatsoever uh, I want to play this movie here as you can see the movie is of the size 2.26 GB it's a BR RIP MKV 720p file so let's put our hands on this resume playback this is a function basically I had uh, been watching this movie and I'll resume the useless point. relationships better forgotten than put away in mothballs is there any more useless than the ex-brother-in-law holy shit man the audio quality is like very good years? As you can see hey. the. You alright? You look like you're living on the streets. What's going on? Control the volume here. The crispness, uh, as you can see, is very, very good. And uh, being such a big file, uh, 2.26 GB, uh, there's absolutely no lag. Even in uh, smart TVs, uh, these kind of files would take some time to load and also would lag at times so here you can see it has got forward rewind function here so at this point of time I am forwarding it so it's getting forwarded 16x is the maximum speed at which it gets forwarded and we can just press the play button again and it will play from the point Clarity is mind blowing actually for the 720p movie. It's very very nice. I'm really impressed with this product and I've immediately put one at my place uh, in my bedroom actually. I would seriously suggest uh, you guys having uh, some sort of a TV at your place should connect this thing. So this is about it for the video. It's got the now the aspect ratio that it is playing is the one that we started playing was four is to three, but the actual is sixteen is to nine. So it plays videos up to sixteen is to nine, and this is the default size, the fit view. As you can see different modes here and if you would want to zoom in there's an option where you can zoom in actually but it's not working you could also have your subtitles here you can just download subtitles uh, SRT files and it will automatically pick up the subtitles subtitle off, subtitle on so if this file is there it will automatically pick it, up, pick it up there's also a go to function as you can see if you want to go to a certain part of the movie you can just press the go to button and you could just mention wherever you want it to go On screen display could be put on and off as you can see you could have uh, the functions right here and if you want to return back 
could just return back and it would come out of the video list Let's play another 720p BR rip movie which has got subtitles in it. The subtitle has to be in the same folder. The movie which I have here is having a subtitle in another folder, so it will not pick it up. So keep a note of that. From a realm of cold and darkness came the Frost Giant. Let's have a look at photo quality. Okay. There are uh, direct buttons wherein you can just go to the music, photo, or movie section here. So let's go to the photo section. Now it will play the photos that we require it to. We will start uh, these are photos, slideshow kind of a thing, clarity is absolutely the zoom option works here actually as you can see the one we tried on the video is actually working on the photo so the zoom option is available for the photo okay now let's have a look at the music part and we'll have to return and let's change the mode to music as you can see when I press music it will get converted here to music so there's no music file there so it'll ask me to come out so I just need to find some music here okay alright I have a mp3 file here so I'll just play it uh, this is basically a Hindi classical song this is the interface. Now let me just connect a pen drive and show it to you. I'm just going to be unplugging the external hard drive here and putting in a pen drive. pen drive that I'm having here is having a lot of music files so as you can see plays like a charm forward option also so this my friends is the latest HD media box that we've got our hands on the Cubetech HD media player and we have shown you all the basic functionalities of this thing you are also connected to the AV port here to your uh, old CRT TV which I don't have sadly but you can do it and we have checked it out there's absolutely no problem whatsoever uh, the quality is not going to remain same because it's basically going to be analog signal but 
still uh, for a CRT TV to stream uh, movies from my USB pen drive it's quite a considerable job so this my friends was the review for the cube tech HD media box do give in your commands uh, we have it available with us shortly our online uh, shopping will be up you can buy these kind of products from our website techstore.co.in do not forget to subscribe do give in your comments your suggestions thanks a lot for watching guys